remember um, the last time we got together we made a uh, turkey wing. So this time we're going to do something similar but with a little bit of a twist. Um, our first little twist is that we're going to use some variegated twine. And uh, our second little twist is that we're going to use all black broom corn. And um, between the two of them it should be a pretty exciting twist for us. So um, this is still going to be a turkey, but like I said, you're going to see a little bit of a difference in how we're doing it this time. So let's talk about um, getting our knot started and getting going. Okay, so you remember you want to start with this um, sliding knot again. You do an overhand knot on the end, and then what we're going to do is we're going to do the sliding, or the knot that slides on the long string versus the short one. So it comes over your hand, where you have the X, hold on to it. And then that loop comes this way. You're going to grab the long string through the top of the hoop and then tighten that up. Let's do it one more time. All right, so I bring the loop. So the X is uh, on top and the end of my string is coming forward. Okay. I'm going to hold that X so it doesn't undo itself. Turn that loop upside down. Grab from the top down on the long string and pull it up. Okay. We we'll start with the first section. Remember that you're going to tie in on this length here, so I'm going to bring that down oh, pretty far. And I like this to get wrapped, so I'm going to put this up here and I'm going to wrap for five times. Remember, usually we only do like a couple. Or actually, we're going to do six. Six wraps. One, two, three, four. This is my fifth one. And I'm going to do one more. So as I come around to this knot, I know it's time to add another piece. And each time that I add, I'm always going to add on the same side. This is still a turkey wing. I'm going to measure these guys up so they're level and I'm going to wrap six more times and then I'm going to kind of tuck that in there as I go. One, two, here's the third one. I'm going to start seeing some of that color. Oh, it's all variegated tied. Uh, so this is my fifth one and we'll do one more. Okay, so I'm going to add on my second piece. I'm going to make sure I got six. Yes, I do. One, two, three. I'm going to go one more. No, I'm not. I'm going to put it right back there. Okay, so I'm going to add this is my third piece. Okay. I'm just going to keep going so there's no advancing on this. You're just going to keep wrapping. Remember, it is going to be a turkey wing, so you do want to put a little bit of arch on it as you go. This is my third wrap, my fourth wrap. Here comes the fifth, and one more. Oh, look, we're getting into the red now. Okay, so I want to add it on this side. So I'm going to grab one more section. Put it on the side that I'm building. I'm only building on this one, on one side. Coming in, okay? There is the second one. I'm going to continue wrapping up. I don't want to wrap behind myself. You could probably get away with cutting that knot off, I think, at this point. This is my third. That's the fourth. Fifth. And I'll do one more. Okay. So I know I gotta turn it over one more because this is the side that I'm adding on. Okay. Trying to level that out. And here we go again. My second 
second, my third, turn like a ring. There's the fifth one, and one more. Just a couple more sections to do. Okay, I'm finally covering up that last little piece. I'm going to keep it right tight next to each other. Four, five, one, two, and six. Okay. So here we go. Maybe I have one right here. I carry it away a little bit. I've got three more sections to go. Keep that even. And here we go again. This is my second. coming on number six. Okay, so I've got two more sections now that I'm going to utilize here. Isn't this cool how you get that, um, especially with black curl and, uh, and um, variegated twine. It looks like you sliced it and put all those different colors in. But you didn't. So here comes my last section. I put, I uh, took my room core and divided it into nine sections. Just because that sounded like a good thing to do. going to keep wrapping the rest of the way up here and I'm going to put a hanger in the back. Keep wrapping all the way up. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a piece of tweed lacing. I'm going to put that in the back so that it works as a uh, hanger. But I need to wrap this up a little bit before I can put it in there. So the entire rest of this broom is nothing but a wrap. So I guess when they say it's a wrap, that's what they meant. And we're going to keep it nice and tight.
think I'll go ahead and lay that in here. I'll end up trimming this up so it's nice and pretty. I want this to be woven in so that it hangs about right there. So let's see. I think I'll bring it down a little bit. I can get those ends in there nice and flat. I start wrapping that in there. have these colors perhaps if you're making like holiday brooms you could do something that's more uh, holiday looking but uh, what a tremendous difference in how that looks wrapping with a variegated nylon twine and with this just like with the other trapeze, you don't have to uh, wet your broom corn. You see that that's just come apart of that. You can't hardly even see that in there. Not, I'll trim that off so you can see it in the back either. But so the only thing that I got to remember to do is when I get ready. I say, oh good, that's enough. However far I'm going to come up, I want to put my jerk string in, but I'm not quite there yet. So, so I'm going to call that good, and I'm going to get ready to pull this. So I'm going to wrap about three or four more times, and then I'll trim this down. And because I'm right-handed, I want the knot on the right-hand side, so when I pull it, I don't grab the knot. Okay. And I want to make sure that I'm doing it on the back side so you don't see it. I'm going to wrap this about four or five more times and then I'll give her a little yank. One more time. And I could keep going but I think you got the idea. And like I said I'm going to trim that back down. So I'm going to hold the tension on this, cut my string down at the bottom and I shift it so I'm still keeping the tension on it. I'm going to take this tail and stick it through the loop. And I'm going to come over here because I'm right handed. And I'm going to try to jerk that through there. There you go. That's the only problem. When you do a whole bunch of wraps, sometimes it'll snag up. So I'm going to pull that tight and then trim it off and then I will, uh, I'll trim this up and then I'll show you what it looks like all cleaned up. Here's our finished product for the uh, turkey wing with a twist. You can see it's got the cool hanger on it and it's a, a super stout, the hangers on the back. This is the front of course. Okay, let's just show you what's up next. Same type of thing with orange uh, or pumpkin, sorry, pumpkin twine on it and black, but it's on a stick. How cool is this? Can you see this on your door this holiday, Halloween season? There you go. So that's our next project. Hey, it's Jill. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and like our videos and subscribe. That way you're always updated on anything basket related that we have on our Jill Shope Basketry channel. You won't miss a thing. Please like us and subscribe. See you next time.